Hello and uh, welcome to this uh, focus on looking at how we do discussions in uh, your LTCC online classes using the uh, Canvas platform. And specifically today I'd like to focus on uh, the differences in doing your discussion posts and looking at how we uh, focus on threaded discussions. And I believe this is quite significant when you're doing your discussions. It makes the um, conversation and collaboration that we have on some of these uh, thematic issues in our course uh, easier basically to understand and to uh, develop. And I should say that I'm showing you just a general um, page here from a discussion board. Whatever online class you're taking with me in Canvas, it's going to be um, practically the same. The only thing different would be the number of discussions per week and of course the specifics of the discussion. But so, uh, of course, to get started on your discussions, you will go to the left-hand side of your Canvas page and you will click on the Discussions tab. Something like this will pop up. And in many cases, I'll have a pinned discussion for the given week. Uh, you can click on that, and of course, in some cases, you can work ahead as well in your discussions. Now let's get into the specifics then of how we uh, thread in terms of hierarchy the various discussion topics. So let's say I would like to click on one of these discussions. And so what I'll do is I'll click on the week nine discussion in this case, and something like this will pop up. And I've actually blacked out here the name of one of the students for privacy. But what you'll see at the top, of course, is the description of your discussion uh, assignment, and then uh, below you'll have a series of entries. And this is really at this point where things become key. And I want you to note then that the fact that you can click here to reply, or you can also click here to reply. And let's take a look at that in more depth, what that means. So, if I click on this to reply, essentially what I'm doing is starting a brand new conversation thread. We call this a thread essentially meaning that it's a topic. Um, in this case, if I'm uh, teaching a class here on the anthropology of religion, and I don't want to comment on the current topic, which happens to be exorcism, or I should say the current topic at the top of this page, if we scroll down, and these are just screenshots, but if I had the web going here, if I would scroll down, I'd see a series of other topics. But in this case, I'd like to click on reply here because I don't want to reply to this post on exorcism. So essentially by clicking reply at the top, that starts a new discussion thread or topic. Now, if I clicked here, and as you can see, what I'll typically do is I'll set up a preset topic here. Um, other students in the class will do this as well. You can set up your own topic. Um, but if I clicked reply here, um, it would appear right here. Let's pretend for a moment this were blank, I hit reply, I type in this text below here, that's essentially what I've done. So it's a threading, right? So the hierarchy is a little bit different. This would be for a brand new topic, this reply is for a previous topic that I already have. And the reason for this is that in some cases, I wish to reply to a student, uh, to the instructor in the class, and give my perspective on that topic. And this is key. If I replied, if I wanted to reply to this topic of exorcism, and I replied up here, it would go all the way to the bottom and essentially be a new topic. So what that creates is a situation where we would have some replies on this particular topic of exorcism up here and some at the bottom of the page. It's kind of a mess, right? So things are not organized and sorted by their appropriate topics or threads. So it's really important to differentiate between whether you want to do a brand new topic and reply here or reply to another student, to the instructor, on a specific topic that's pre-existing, and thus everything will be threaded within that particular discussion group. I could also, of course, do a, I guess, a third level of, think of these as nested sets, right? So the third level would be down here. This student replied to my post on exorcism. I would reply specific to that student, and then I don't have this represented, but it would basically appear down here um, as another set specific to that student. So three levels then to review this to think about. One is the uh, new topic that I want to post, brand new, not already represented by these topics. Second, I reply here if I want to get into a discussion of the current topic that's going on. Third, I'd like to reply very specific to a student. And this could be in the case if someone wrote something and you want to very specifically address what they're saying but you don't necessarily want to address the generality of the entire discussion board. So it's a level of nuance, and you can decide on your own how you want to do this. 
But basically, uh, it's important, and, and do a review of this. So again, the top would be a new thread or topic. The second would be a previous thread or topic. And uh, again, as a review, it's important to know the differences between the type of, of uh, threads we create in our discussion topics. It allows for an easier understanding of the materials, and I think it's going to allow us for a better conversation this quarter as we move through our online class using the Canvas format. So um, if any other questions come up, let me know. Otherwise, I wish you success in working on your discussion posts in your online class here at Lake Tahoe Community College.